Okay, my response is settled right now and it's basically hard to describe this feeling and I know you guys experienced this before which we're not that very proud to have this accepted in our lives. Because when it comes to family, the way or their tactics are harsh or strict or judging by my namesake video that I've just titled, abuse is mainly part of mine, imminently if provoking. But like I said in this video, when I was a little kid I used to get bullied in school, scolded by my family in the worst way as possible, corporately, and even my worst night nightmare of all that my father made the most shameless thing to my own little brother he made him wear a school shirt well that's normal but in the worst way as possible like I said he exposed his legs with no underwear just to threaten him that way for having bad grades though he didn't let him show him this publicly he made this as a warning just to disciplining him like that but it's really unhealthy, and I am myself being offended of that kind of an issue. Though my brother and my sister accepted their fate, but I don't. Because all I witness is hypocrisy everywhere, and not to mention we live in a real world that's filled with bigotry, as well as some controversial figures that they live today are making chaos to our society. And that's the majority to these supporters to them, they helped them to keep up in their way to ruin their freedom. But let's just go back to the abuse thing. Families are always like that. Whether you're in district family, in a harsh family, you're lucky but you're not that lucky to begin with, especially with chores. But in this case, it will be an issue too, if you defy them that much. And surprisingly, you yourself will become excellent liars if parents take action against you for too much. Or an abusive family. Too much punishment is the answer for antagonizing your own free will. And it will be nothing but physical, mental negligence, and for me to this day, verbal abuse. Unlike physical abuse on me before, verbal abuse hurts because words are more painful than sticks and stones. And my parents never admits that due to the fact that my parents has been stemmed from one of my grandparents at the time, they're in a harsh discipline because of that. And you also have parents just like that drank the 19th century. And for me, they're poor at the time until knowledge shaped their lives. But not that much of their complicity surrounding the knowledge because they still haven't learned anything from that. Only smaller I believe however, but to graduate in order to survive and that's what they focus about. But still, they haven't even learned anything, I mean everything. But with my parents' livelihood are rough and complicated, and thus, they did the same tactic on us, literally. It makes sense because of that, and though they still conditionally loved you, even if you disagree, like I always disagree with my parents, but just with good stuff might help me out to have my respect. But with punishments, as well as their harsh personalities, it's a no-no for me because my parents didn't mean raise me better and nicer, but hey, we're all not perfect to our status. We understand about their backstory before, but doing the same tactic isn't gonna help their kids to have discipline. Though, they're not wrong about everything, including the fact that Gordon Ramsay treat their kids like that. But not in a corporal way, it's just he doesn't want his kids to be spoiled, as well as never letting his kids invite it from one of his restaurants. And most of all, he vowed to never sit next to his kids up to the fly first class. In my own perspective on Gordon, I think he has a point. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I do understand especially he's evil in his persona on Hell's Kitchen and he doesn't want to let his kids to watch and to interfere in the show. And even so, him and his wife have reasons and they often worry too much, basically. And like I said, sometimes they're not wrong about everything. And about families, the dominant ones are the family adults mom and dad whatever relatives who are bigger than you and thus they have the supremacy to do with these kids even though you're oftenly right like everyone does in your view to agree with unlike some privately for them you're wrong about their own perspective even my mom stereotypes my waiting post even though that has nothing to do with arrogance and insolence she thinks that in a way that i'm about to get killed by a gang member or something just to protect me blatantly and when I refuse to listen to her utter vapidity, she angrily starts berating me, like how hypocritically devious at all times. And along with the rest of my family, like her, they're always bluntly criticizing me for who I am. When it comes to me doing something wrong, with some derogatorily chide me with terms that caused me to hurt me so much, rather than being subtle and benevolent to me, it's really unfair. But the only thing is unfair is life. 
And life is rough these days when you have them for the rest of your life until graduation from college or succession by fame from everything which you've achieved that will prove everything. But hey, if you really want to succeed in your life, you have to go through the hardest way and that way you'll get the easy part of it. And by easy, I mean the part that you'll be happy to be free in life without idiotic clients of yours coming along with you ruin your independence. Except friends sometimes because they know you too much. And that goes to show why Net Nobody, formerly known as Sky does in Minecraft saved by fame and YouTube. And to this day, he amassed over 11 mil subs. All because of his Minecraft content, but he quit just to sacrifice his channel just for his own son. And not only that, he wants him to make legacy by making him in charge of his channel someday. And aside from his succession, he also had his roughest times before. And he talks about it. From one of his Draw My Life videos, he said that one of his parents abused them in many ways, mentally and severely, with Sky aka Adam all covered up with his own dung at the time and because of them Adam himself along with his younger sister though I literally say them because you know, I didn't mention about his sister, though I already mentioned right now. So as I was saying about his sister, his younger sister resulted in him to have diagnosed with schizophrenia, bipolar, and anxiety. Which is worse because it is worse, especially for his unlucky sister mostly. And the fact is, it's sad, crazy. Even the Paul brothers never had an issue with it nor caring about that but all they care is chaos in other countries disrespecting the deceased ones and so on as part of their entertainment but it wasn't for everybody you know they don't want this and so does i to imagine with and furthermore as kids since they're not that dominant to stand up with their abusive parents we can tell a friend or an authority if it's successful it's the only way we could keep distance against from terrible kids and for me Physical abuse is not the case anymore for me and sometimes physical fights like my mom fights with my dad That is also the case on why I couldn't stand because it's complicated to be in this situation like this But at the same time they aroused the utter dysfunctionalities to us and yeah, but wow I have a dysfunctional family who has highly religious in a monotheistic way of its view and God is always alone as a lone deity just like it said here in the Bible you know I'm also an older brother to my siblings it's hard to be one and it's hard to have obligations to them and we're not that really close to each other to talk though my sister cared and talked but sometimes she's a little bit apathetic for what I'm saying interesting things because she's too busy though she got friends at school and along with my little brother they're close to each other and for my brother K bro special well He's a bit friendly at school though, but at home, his personality went cold yet rude and disregarding and he feels highly apathetic on us when it comes to me and my sister starts communicating with him because of his demeanor. Confronting him is now became a problematic and difficult to talk to and my sister began to cry because all he do is makes no remarks whatsoever but with a very unrepentant view in silence while my sister talking serious about his own concern and I myself was very concerned about him and thus in my own turmoil unlike us unfairly my mom is playfully too close to my brother additionally she even she even upfront berating me for not playing jokes within the family like come on I love to laugh but one of their ridicule acts as well as their immature tricks are just the tip of the iceberg but nevertheless my siblings are still close to each other quasi conditional but I'm not that very close to my family because of everything needless to say my family are hypocritically dysfunctional but hey guys even though I don't love them so much they're still my dysfunctional hypocrites that you know I hated and I'm too smart to view the stances and I know that they do good things I know that they give me good shelter I know that they give me all the good clothes I know that they feed us food I still know that cuz I've been living here in the same street in the same place that I grew up here resided and I won't forget that so what are your thoughts about your early life let us know by typing your comments below and oh like I said in my video stay safe be safe to loo well goodbye for now bye bye and oh guys remember it's summertime for me right now well, yeah, woo, I'm free from prison, baby, I'm back, back for making quality content again, woo!